I did see the cast of Game of Thrones in our lobby and I followed Rob Stark out of the hotel. <laughs> Here with Leah Michelle, who's looking absolutely gorgeous. I know you just came from a fan. Was it a fan panel? A oh, fan? Oh, signing. How are the fans here at Comic Con different from fans everywhere else? Are they crazier? Besides uh, them wearing costumes? <laughs> you know, our we have such diehard Glee fans. So yeah. they're always just like super enthusiastic, so sweet, and just like really excited to you know meet us. And we're so excited to meet them as well. Because speaking of fans, like who are you the biggest fan of? Like who do you geek out over the most? Singer or movie or TV show? I would say. Right now, I mean, obviously Barbara Streisand, but I did see the cast of Game of Thrones in our lobby, and I followed Rob Stark out of the hotel. <laughs> I'm sure he absolutely did not mind that at all. Did he notice. see? Did he? No, he, he didn't, didn't notice. notice. Too bad. Somebody should have pointed it out because <laughs> he probably would have been very happy to see that. Yes, here with Corey Monteith. The in the Green Lantern, and yes. he called me out from the very beginning. Green Lantern! Some people didn't even know who I was here. How can you not know? It's the Green Lantern. It's the Green Lantern. I have no idea. Well, okay, if I was going to grant you yes. any wish or any superpower, what would it be? The ability to stop time. Where would you stop it? I would just stop it, and then I would, like, walk into a concert that I couldn't get into and then start time again. Who would the concert be? Who would the concert be? I can't imagine you couldn't get in anywhere. Well, you never know. Maybe like a really awesome Radiohead show where there's only a hundred people at the performance. Okay, well speaking of awesome music, what song do you sing out loud to in your car the most? What's the most repeated song? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, it might be Radiohead. I'm a huge Radiohead fan. I love Let Down off of OK Computer. That's it's a good one. one. Many, it's one of many of my favorites. That's a good one. So if you were to come here and dress up in costume, who would you secretly like to dress up as? I would be Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. I th I'm sensing a Game of Thrones yeah, for sure. theme going on here. Oh, yeah. So do you TiVo? Do you watch it? Oh yeah, it? I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. And you're all caught up? Yes. And have you read the books? Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. she's she's Hardcore. she's right on it. Yeah. So there should be a cross collaboration between Glee and Game of Thrones. Maybe I'll just <laughs> pop up there on like the wall somewhere. Like you have to know the show. See, I'm sorry, that was a well. I've interviewed insane. some of the cast. Oh, okay, okay. I don't well, want to brag I or anything. So, <laughs> so this season coming up, obviously, there's so much speculation. Such a tearjerker at the end of the last no. season. How surprised are you when you read the scripts from season to season? Do they surprise you, or you sort of see where things are going? Um, well, we if it's anything major, we generally get hints about the major stuff that's gonna yeah. happen. I knew that they were gonna break us up, but I didn't think it was gonna be that painful. Um, but you know, uh, I'm really excited for this year. So coming up this season, I know last season, tearjerker, yes. really, really emotional. Do you think there's gonna be a lot of tears, or are there gonna be more? Is there gonna be more joy for Finn this season? I think it's gonna be both. I think it's gonna be 50-50. Wow. A lot of struggle, a lot of heartache, but I think a lot of a lot of payoff. That's a pretty even split. It's pretty good. It's, it's well balanced. I think this is truly a renaissance this year for Glee. Well, if it gets too sad for you, I can grant any wish. I'll come back and That's help awesome. you out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you.